Hi all, Plantside Agent here. Today we're going to take a look at a wood stove that is built from a Altoids tin. I call it a pillar style. So uh, go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, let's take a look at this guy. Uh, got this idea for this stove from a video I saw, Intense Angler. I'll go ahead and uh, put a link to his video in the description of this video. So, um, this it, it was a cute little stove. This was the first one ever made. I, in fact, I made a few for friends I just gave out, kind of a novelty, but, you know, it's got a grate to hold the fire up so you can get good ventilation, and you have room for a, a mini Bic, and in this case, I got some Tinder Quicks, and I actually did use this one for a while uh, as part of my survival kit when I went out skiing. Um, but eventually I traded this one in for a uh, one of the smaller collapsible wood stoves. But uh, So anyway, to install it, well, to build it real quick, you uh, use these, uh, again, the Chicago bolts are the, are the uh, pot stand. I could call them pillars. And then there's your, the bottoms of your bolts. And then you just, you have to get some nuts to hold them in place. And I think you put a little Loctite on them too so they don't come back on you and then uh, you use the uh, the grates made from hardware cloth you just fold it down I think he actually gave you some some actual dimensions on this but you just have to look like there's about two squares here and then you just have to measure it to fit and fool around with it <laughs> anyway and then uh, you just screw the uh, Chicago bolts in and you put all four of them and you're set up. Now, one thing different mine over uh, Waypoint Survivals, or I mean uh, Intense Angler, excuse me, is, go ahead and screw this one in. When I first made his, he actually puts the, uh, the bolts in the corners, each corner, right in the, right in the corner of the, of the uh, tin. And that's what I did, the, the first one I made, just exactly like he did. But I found out for this uh, cup I use, this style cup is one I always take with me when I'm out uh, skiing and stuff. And uh, it was the with all the the posts out in the corners, it wouldn't sit right. It was just too too wide. As you can see, that these four pins just hit perfectly. Well, of course they fit perfectly because I measured it, but designed for this cup. So, if you just use the, I'll just grab a tin here real quick. If you had them in each corner, you can see that that they would be hitting the rounded part of the cup, so it wouldn't be very stable. So I had to move them in. So that's the only consideration. But it wasn't that big a deal. Just moved them into the fit and then cut out the spots for them. But uh, uh, I'm not going to do a burn on this. Uh, Intense Angler did a burn on it. It, it works just fine. Yeah, you can see this thing's pristine. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it, uh, it'll work just fine. Put your little wood in here. Main reason I kind of went with this the first time is that when you're out skiing, especially here in the Northwest uh, Cascades, where you get some really deep snow, so you're not going to be able to get down to ground level. So to build a fire, you know, you got to put some kind of a base down, so, it, you know, maybe some more logs so it doesn't burn down into the, into the snow. Or what you could do, sometimes there'll be an old stump out or a rock outcrop, and you could clear some of that off, and then you have a nice dry place to, to put your wood in and set up and burn rather than trying to do it down in the snow. So, saying this was this is very light, very compact, so I just threw it in my kit. So, so it's um, it it is it is practical. I think it will it will boil water and feed it enough twigs. So. Anyway, so this is just my version of it, of this little twig stove, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.